Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best iPad tweaks as of right now. And my iPad is running iOS 5.0.1 jailbroken, and this is my iPad 2. So let's go ahead and get on into the video. <laughs> So first off, we have Winterboard. Winterboard, uh, you should know if you jailbreak, most people jailbreak to use Winterboard, but that is first on our list. And what Winterboard allows you to do is go ahead and set up themes like the one I have set right now. The one I have set right now is very simple, and this one's called Splendid HD. And Winterboard basically allows you to toggle on different themes. So if you go into the app, there's also a settings panel, and you have some simple things, but you just go ahead and hit select themes, and you go down and you pick a theme that you want. Now my favorite tweak of all on iOS 5 is in Telescreen X. That's uh, between my iPhone 4S, my iPod, other iPhones, or my iPad. And Telescreen X is this genius notification center uh, implementation that allows you to manage your notification center, but also manage a variety of other things. So over right here we have the uh, just the standard notification center. We see that we have a timer right here, and that's actually an RSS, and it also has some Twitter and built-in stuff. And then this also has your reminders, your calendar, and all that good stuff. You can scroll over and you can see some email, go all the way over, you can see some Facebook, go over some more, you got Twitter, and you got RSS feeds. You can also configure this to your liking. The reason why I like this so much on the iPhone is because it actually allows for quick reply to text messages. On the iPad, it allows you to see the text messages and you can quick compose. But um, right here we have the Twitter. You can also quick compose tweets. Uh, so it's definitely really nice on the iPhone and it is pretty nice on the iPad. My third uh, tweak I have for you is full force. And this allows you to set uh, certain applications. So applications that are uh, actually modified for the uh, iPhone, it allows you to set those up um, for the iPad. So we're going to take a quick example with PayPal. So obviously PayPal is not HD optimized. So we're gonna go ahead into our settings. If we go to settings over over here and we're going to go down to full force and this will allow us to set it to full screen there's also red in the pad which I've actually not used um, but go ahead and set this for this one we're gonna set that for PayPal and we can also set it for messenger I forgot that I had that as an iPhone application so normally these I'll uh, show up scaled so let's go ahead in it into uh, PayPal uh, sometimes it's a little bit blurry or sometimes the UI is off a little bit but most of the time you can actually use the app in full HD we'll give it one more try and let's go ahead and look at the messenger app so the messenger app is right here and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and this is the HD uh, modification sometimes it's really good sometimes it's not so good but it's really nice uh, sometimes you can use full keyboards sometimes the UI only shows up there but this is a free tweak so that's what makes it all right so if we go ahead and click on a random conversation you can see that the UI is mainly over here but you can actually use the full iPad keyboard to type which is usually pretty nice the next tweak we have is lock screen clock height. It's fairly simple, it's free, and what it allows you to do is uh, hide your lock screen uh, clock that's normally right there. So right now I have this nice uh, part of Splendid HD, and this allows me to take out that clock to have another uh, widget there. The next tweak I have is Spire for iPad, and this will allow you to have Siri um, on your iPad. Uh, so definitely really awesome, and you can use that with i4 Siri. iFile is another great uh, application. This is this is more of a city application over a tweak, but anyways, you can go ahead and open up file and see all the system files that uh, this contains. So you can see right here that we're looking at the Splendid iPad source files. And the next one we're going to talk about is Activator, and I'm also going to link this into GraviBoard. So uh, Activator allows you to make simple uh, toggles for stuff like uh, GraviBoard. So if we go ahead and scroll over, we can actually go ahead and activate Gravi board which allows all your icons to go crazy like this and it's actually a really cool tweak along with activator activator is used in almost every app that has to be activated by a toggle I already talked about splendid for iPad and uh, that is a theme that costs I think a dollar in Cydia you can check out more info in the description but uh, that's the theme that I'm using and I already talked about that the next one is Belfry and that is by Ryan Petridge it's a modification to Spire that actually goes and gets the uh, weather apps so right here you can see that we have all the native iPhone applications. So if we go into calculator, we have the calculator for iPhone. And if we go ahead into stocks, we have the stocks app for the iPhone. So this is good when you're using Siri. That way when you uh, access these commands that use uh, these applications, uh, you won't have a crash of the springboard. 
The next one is colored keyboard, and this allows you to have modified keyboard, and the keyboard I'm currently running is a white one. This is a paid tweak, but you can go ahead and set your keyboard to really whatever you want. So normally the keyboard is a lot different, and I definitely like this little modification. That's what makes uh, jailbreaking worth it, is you can have these nice, simple modifications. The last one I'm going to be talking about is folder enhancer, and I actually think this implementation is better than Apple's. So yes, I said better than Apple's. You can literally click on an a uh, folder and it instantly opens where on even brand new devices the folders seem to take a little bit and with this you can actually have as many apps as you would like so there's pages and all these different sorts of stuff so this is a paid tweak but that is definitely one of the top ones in my book so I definitely suggest you check out IntelliScreen X color keyboard and folder enhancer those would probably be my top ones along with spire for ipad so if you want to know more about that check out the description below but if you enjoyed this longer itweak.tv video definitely leave a comment down below and if you want to see more uh be sure to subscribe and check out more from itweak.tv